You're listening to the Flickcast, a podcast about stuff nerds love. I am Chris Ulrich, and joining me, of course, my supreme co-host, <laughs> Joe Dilworth. Hey, Joe. Uh, no, that's not my name anymore. I'm, I'm uh, Sauron. Uh, Your I name just, is Sauron? Yeah, okay. yeah I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reveal that now. I don't know why I thought... Get that out of the way. I don't know, yeah. That's, that's good. I, I didn't know who I, who was I dealing with all this time. <laughs> See? Yeah, well, I've laid hints uh, all this time, all these years. You, just, you have. Just because you, you didn't pay indeed. attention to them, yeah, you know. That's right. the 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 whole thing was right there in front it of you. Was, you it was. It. It's all connected. See, it's all connected. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's a multiverse. Wait, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. We're talking about uh, Rings of Power, which, yes. uh, as many people probably know by now, uh, we'll we'll spoil that in a minute for you. Sure. And then we're also going to get into a little bit of uh, She Hulk, and its meta <laughs> finale, and uh, and some other little bits and bobs or whatever. But uh, I just wanted to mention that I, for some reason, I saw a Taco Bell yesterday as I was driving by, and I thought of Supreme, and that's oh, why I, I said that you are Supreme. I, I had thought of it's going the, the other Joe Dilworth Supreme. I had thought of going the other way and saying my name is actually J O E, uh, but you know, oh, I like that, uh, like K E V I. I like it. But anyway, no, no, I got uh, it. I I know. What would it stand for? What it's what would your what was your acronym be though? J O E. Um. Uh, hmm. You should have thought that through, huh? Yeah, I should <laughs> should have thought that through. Well, uh, yeah. uh, the jovial operational environment. There you go. See, there you go. Perfect. I have no idea. <laughs> Sounds that good. sounded great, though. It does. That's I just, believe it. That's just that's just off the cuff, right there. Wow. That's See, improv. this you should be a writer yeah, at the highest. I should uh, jovial operational environment. Yeah. Well, this guy he's got to be like a. I don't know. Anyway, we'll think about it. We'll workshop that. If you have any workshop ideas, it, yes. Feel free to to send them at uh, send them to Joe. Uh, and, letters and we'll, on it. Yeah. We'll, yes. Answers on a postcard. Send your cards. Yeah. Send your cards and letters. Yeah. Keep those coming in. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, the, what, the two things I wanted to mention. One, uh, Harrison Ford joining the MCU. That's pretty exciting. Yes. I mean, it's unfortunate that you know William Hurt's not around anymore. But apparently, he's going to be playing Thunderbolt Ross. That's Kinda, exciting. Is he going to grow a mustache? Do you think? God, I hope so. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, I'm. Yeah, but Harrison, I, what, well, I guess the question is, why is Harrison Ford deciding to join the MCU? Does he need the money? I don't well, think he does. Uh, what could? What's in it for my him? My question is, why Thunderbolt Ross? Why not another? General? Well, because he's in, he's in, he's an important know, character to the Thunderbolts. Yeah. Come on, they call it's literally called the Thunderbolts. You know, except he wasn't saying. originally. Uh, part of the thunderbolts well now he now he is man it's mcu it's canon baby yeah, all right i don't know whatever yeah so I, kevin, i'm excited about ask, that it'll ask, be interesting to ask see. the kevin feige robot i don't know okay ask kevin yes kevin recalculating <laughs> oh anyway we'll get to that in a minute. i see what you did there uh, anyway yes ah uh, uh, funny yeah. um that i don't know i like Harrison ford obviously yeah, so yeah. i'm happy i'm happy to see him do anything uh that's cool uh, and it probably is a less strenuously physical role than maybe Indiana Jones was. And so maybe he's like, oh, I can just sit at a desk. <laughs> yes. Or it's a, you know, and he, he looks at the movies and goes, well, Robert Redford was in a freaking MCU movie, so it's probably okay, right? So Yeah, and it'll, it'll be, I don't know, I, I think it's very cool, which um, yeah. uh, just because, uh, you know, it sounds like he's going to be in multiple movies. It sounds like he, he's going to first appear sure. as Ross in the Captain America movie and then in Thunderbolts. And as we know from Sam Jackson and other people, once you once you're part of the MCU family, you show up all kinds of places. So I'm mean, kind of excited once you about go that. MCU, you never go back. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean he does. Yeah. I think he has kind of kept to doing like one movie a year or every couple of years, and maybe this is his retirement plan. It's like, well, now I can just let them tell me when to show up for work, and I don't really have to do anything else if I don't want to. Well, that's right. So. You just show up to this stage that has green screen everywhere, and we're just going to shoot your appearances in 12 different films. <laughs> yeah, you're going to spend a day, <laughs> you're be a... and you're going to be in eight yeah. movies. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, yeah. That's probably a lot of it. It's like you're going to be a hologram in all these movies. You yeah, know? exactly. And so. uh, we're going to motion capture the shit out of you. I, I, I want to see... Well, uh, the thing I was wondering about, of course, is... Will he become the Red Hulk? Because that's what happens right. with Ross. I know. And and then, as many people have speculated online, I want to see the footage of him wearing the mocap suit, which is never going <laughs> to. No, happen. that'll never happen. But I don't see Harrison Ford wearing a mocap suit. No. What is this tennis ball that I'm anyway? <laughs> but it'd be pretty funny if he did. You know, maybe he's <laughs> maybe there is enough maybe there is enough weed on the set. I was going to say just have, on, he'll just show up high and they'll be like, "Hey, Harry, we're going to we're going to put this on you to be like groovy, man. Let's do it." Mr. Ford, did you burn one on the way over? Because we're ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll exactly. Whatever. If not, do it. Uh, can you spend a if few not, minutes in your trailer? So. Visit your trailer, yeah, please. Yeah. 
Not that Marvel or Disney condone alcohol or drugs, but, you know, well, you know whatever. If it's in uh, California, anyway. if yes. they're shooting in California, it'll be fine. So. Well, that's legal. Exactly. Yeah. That's but, I'm you saying. know, I, I don't, I'm not trying to impugn the, rela- the reputation of Mr. No, Ford. I think people pretty much know that he's a pothead. So I don't think that's a secret, is it? No, not at all. He does enjoy this. He does enjoy Apparently, he hates fans, but everyone... He hates fans and Star Wars, yeah. but loves the weed. Yeah, so which is not true, but anyway. No, he loves... He, I think he's just like, I don't want to talk about Star Wars anymore. I did it like 30 years ago. I, I You know, whatever. Or I just, you know, you, you have to imagine that that there are a couple of ways to go about it, right? It's like you either take the Mark Hamill route where you're like, I'm Luke Skywalker, or, you know, whatever. Right, it's, right. It's, I love to be remembered as this, or you're Harrison Ford because he wanted to be more of, I'm not that Mark Hamill's not a serious actor, but it's like Harrison Ford did a lot of other things. Well, it's, it's just another he, role. I mean, he, yeah, know. to him, it's just another yeah. role. Yeah, exactly. And that's okay. So. And I, I, you know, seeing some of the comments he's made, especially in live uh, interviews, it's like, you guys know that he also cracks jokes, right? I mean, you know. Well, that's true. Like, so, if he truly hated watch it, him. he would not have come yeah. back. He would have been like, "No, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to come back for." Uh, right, exactly. And he doesn't, he doesn't need the money. He doesn't need yeah. whatever. I think he, he has affection for for Han Solo, and yeah. I think that he, you know, I don't know. I like to think that. It, yeah, you're right. He, he's basically. He's just a curmudgeonly guy, and it also it depends on what day you catch him too. Maybe or what you know, how many interviews he's done, or whatever. Or right? What, you know. Yeah. So it's like I I don't want to talk about it anymore. Or we're just I don't discussing he, I, before the show that you know Daniel Craig yeah. after each James Bond movie was like, now I'm done because he just like brutalized himself making those movies, and you're going to ask him right after that, hey, are you ready next week to do this all over again? It's like fuck no, I'm done. No, you know? no, no, so. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I hope. Yeah, I, I, I'm anything that Harrison Ford does. I yeah, think, I'm into. Yeah. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, will he be Red Hulk? I, if Red Hulk shows up, it won't be him. Obviously, in the suit. Um, the other thing that I was interested in, and we should uh, that we never actually mentioned, uh, Dune. Yeah, uh, is going to be released a week or two earlier than it was supposed to. They're filming Dune the sequel or Dune Part Two or whatever you want to call it now, which is which is exciting. I'm I'm very excited about that uh, next year. Uh, but there's also going to be a prequel TV show as well. Yes, on the history of the Benny Gesserit and how they formed. Yeah, which I am totally into. Yeah, man. Yeah, that'll be. I love. Uh, I love that. Be really cool. I'm excited to see that. Although it's based on a novel written by Frank Herbert and Brian, Kevin J. Anderson, so I don't well, know. Man. Yeah. So, but it's got a good cast. Uh, Emily Watson and, and Indira Varma was just added to the cast, so that's she's that's always she's another one that I'm like, well, if she's going to be in it, I'll probably watch it because um, she's yeah, really good too. I, I liked her. She was one of the highlights of Obi Wan of Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Uh, and and you know, I think that she got kind of well fucked over a little bit in Game of Thrones. Her character kind of just well, like so did whatever. everybody, but you know, hey. Well, that's true. But <laughs> but the the that sort of idea of those characters were supposed to play a bigger role, I think, in the show. Yeah. And they, I know they do in the books. Yes. But that's a that's one of those storylines that kind of got you know, it's like, oh, Daenerys is cool. Let's just stick with that Daenerys right, thing. Right. And, uh, exactly. And so, uh, Jon Snow is having sex with his niece or whatever. Yeah, let's so focus let's, let's on that because, you know. There's a lot of that. Like, we talked about George R. 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 Martin. Must, <laughs> like, it's just so weird to me. Like, in, 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 in House of the Dragon, it's like, uh, they, the aunt and uncle or the uncle and the niece got married. Right, so, I guess right. that's cool. I don't know. He's big into uh, incest, it seems. You, maybe we're saying it wrong this whole time. Maybe it's not George R. R. George R. R. Maybe it's George R. Martin. Maybe he's you know trying to be R. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There you go. That's good, George R. R. Martin. George R. Martin. But yeah, I, I mean, I guess that's a thing that happened in the old days because but this they wanted isn't to keep hi- the bloodlines. It's not history, anyway. Sorry. I know. I know, man. That's not what happened in medieval times, bro. Anyway. Yeah, because. But actually, <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, so yeah, anything with Dune, I'm I'm down. Um, but of course, the movie, uh, yes, Dune Part Two. Um, it's you know, it, it's it, unfortunately it'll be probably not that much Jason Momoa, but that's fine. I still enjoy it. But uh, it's gonna be it's gonna well, be not cool. that one if they do the third one though. Momoa will be back. So. Momoa can come back. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there could be like flashback stuff or whatever. Uh, we don't know the timeline, but there's a lot of story in in the second part of the book. Like yes, an entire war, for example. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> yeah, jihad, kind of that. Yeah. Kind of that, yeah. Um, anyway. So another quick bit uh, of uh, news, too, I wanted yeah, yeah. to throw out there is uh, they just announced a second season for a show that we enjoyed, Outer Range. So oh, yeah. I'm very excited to see where the story goes. Um, I was hoping it wouldn't end 
and that would be it because it's like, well, I want to know more. I, you know, so uh, sure, it'll be good to see uh, what they do for a second season. Um, anyway, yeah, that was a, that was one of those shows where I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. Yeah, um, yeah. And I like that. I like the fact that I, I couldn't quite figure it out, all of it. And I like Josh Brolin, so that was cool too. But yeah, I, I'm happy to see that. And I will watch the second season for sure. But yeah, if you haven't watched Out of Range, it's 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 creepy but interesting. Yes. Um, it's kind of like a, a tiny, I suppose, a tiny bit like Yellowstone, but uh, but, but but with but time travel and, and alien, but interesting yeah. and, and not quite as uh, well, melodramatic. Uh, so. I mean, it's pretty yeah, it's pretty dramatic. It but, is, but uh, I, I like I, the yeah. characters on this show though, and they all yeah. seem to be striving to um, actually do good. And there's some great right. kind of sci-fi elements to it. Uh, I yeah. don't want to spoil it because really you should experience it by watching it. But um, there's yeah. some pri- some surprises on the show that were like, wow, definitely. And Will Patton is in it, and Will Patton's always awesome too. So, yeah, it's funny because we were talking about Yellowstone in the pre in the pre-show, and for some reason I was conflicting or conflu conflagating. Maybe is that a word? Yeah. Some of the elements of both shows, like I'm like thinking about Will Patton. I'm like, no, he's not in that no. one. He's in, he's in Outer yeah. Range. And then I was like, oh no, but uh, but Danny Houston was in Yellowstone, and I get him, and I'm like, oh, was he in Outer Range? Because Danny Houston's also a great yes. bad guy in, in Yellowstone, yeah. but and in, in all the X Men movies. So I kept thinking, you know, he's going to like Logan. I'm going to put some adamantium inside of you or whatever. <laughs> Um, what was that? Anyway, I like. I don't know who that yeah. was. It's supposed to be Danny Houston. Okay. It was a terrible impression, right. but uh, impersonation. But anyway. Um, but I like to see him and yeah, Will Patton is always good. But then Will, that, in that show, they have the weird brothers. Yeah, in a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's I, it's, out of range. It's, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I get confused. I'm, I'm confused easily. If Yellowstone was then, more like Outer Range, I would totally watch it. It's just not like Yellow company. Jackets, which is also coming oh, back yes. for season two, which yes. I also enjoy very much. If you haven't watched Yellow Jackets, it's a great uh, show. See, too. I did watch that one. You, that was one that you okay. said I should watch, and I did watch that one. Good, yeah. I mean, it's just it's terrific, and the way they cut back and forth with yeah. the modern times. Yeah. And Melanie Linsky is is an awesome actress, actor, whatever you want to say. Um, but the but the the younger girls are really good too, and and there's some weird elements of that show. Yeah, uh, I would say the cat is is all really good. Christina Ricci, uh, you know, Juliette Lewis. I like the way it was written. I, I was kind of yeah. uh, dubious at first. I was like, well, I don't know. Sounds too much like Lost, blah blah blah, and then I was like, or Lord of the Flies. Yeah, but I was like, no, they actually, they I think they did a really great job with it, and I'm excited for season two as well. So it's not just about cannibalism, everybody. So. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. All right. Well, we should probably get to uh, the main thrust of this episode, Whoa, which is hey, now uh, we're not on HBO sorry. Max, dude. Easy. That's true. Good point. Uh, which is uh, we'll discuss a little bit of She-Hulk uh, meta meta ending, yes. and of course, Rings of Power with the big the big twist, which which is not a twist because I called it, baby. You anyway. d- you did well done. I did. Yes. Thank you. Uh, it's like I said, it's good to be right once after a hundred times, <laughs> 300 episodes. I actually figured out one, uh, and we were right. We were right about both characters. Oh, uh, okay. Let's talk about reasons. All right. Let's do that. All right. Let's dive into it. So we find out spoiler, heavy spoilers. If you haven't watched rings of power finale, uh, we do find out who Sauron is. Sauron. We do find out who, yes. who the meteor man is. And more or less, I think pretty diff- yeah. Well, pretty definitively, he he basically says a line from Lord of yes. the Rings in, in at the end of this episode. <laughs> Just follow follow your nose. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, yes. who, of course it's Gandalf. Everybody, of course, come on, come on, yes. That's why the MacGuffin of him being sore did, on the, you know, when they, I'm like, that's not. They're not going to do that. No, the pre titles were gonna... brilliant because it's like, okay, now we're gonna. Nope, here he is, and everyone's like, "Wait, what?" And it's like, "No, we're no, we're just yeah. joking. That's not really him." But, yeah, that's not who he yeah. is. Yeah, it's like we're just. But with, uh, the thing that was interesting about those characters, the the three, what I, I'm going to call them, Braves, because that's yeah, what they look that's like. That's what right? they turned out to be, pretty much. Yeah, that was cool. That was a, this was a great episode. It was a really good, strong. I think strong finale yes. uh, for a season, but also a really strong like hook for the for the next season. It's like now we know. As as Sauron gazes longingly and lovingly at his volcano, <laughs> I love my volcano. That's, and that's, that's not so a nice. euphemism. That's what he it's actually not. does. He really yes. was looking at it. Yes. Well, he's of course looking at a green screen. Well, it's yeah. a beautiful volcano. <laughs> it's a great green screen. Um, I really love that. It's green It's a beautiful screen. color of shade of green. That love. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, no, that, yeah, yeah, it's got it's got to be hard to be an actor these days. Like I, I'm in a, I'm basically in a bland, empty room. <laughs> yes, <laughs> standing on standing on an apple box going. <gasps> 
A volcano is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to forge my ring of power over there. Yes. Anyway. Uh, um, so there's got to be now. So by the end of this episode, we've got the three rings for the Dwarven Kings yes. or the Dwarven whatever Lords or uh, the Elven Lords. But yes, whatever. Elven Kings. What's the Elven Kings. Yes. I, I, I get confused. It's I've only Lords, read this book Kings, Dwarves, Elves, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's all the yeah. same. Und- in their halls of stone. It's not uh, like they're like, you know, distinct uh, races on this show. They're all the same, really. I mean, they're all the same. Yeah, it all looks the same to me. <laughs> they all have those pointy yeah, ears. Or whatever. Yeah. Like, are, are they all Vulcans? Is that what I think happening? so. Yeah. yeah. Some of them so, are Romulans, but, uh, but you know. Some of them are Romulans. They look very similar. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but I, yeah, it was uh, it, it was interesting how they brought it full circle with uh, Gladriel sort of dreaming about her brother. And she's like, oh, my brother's dead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So so good. Wow, she's awesome, man. I love May for Clark. She's she so is cool. actually really good. There's a lot of people uh, that are saying really awful things about her, and I don't really understand it. But well, you know, she's a Mary Sue. Oh, that's, that's right. None of none of her power is earned, right? Because she's been she, alive she for could, thousands of years. She's only been alive for thousands yeah. of years, learning to fight. But you know, but, she's you just know, yeah, finally learned how to fight. Right <laughs> exactly. Now. Um, but I mean, I like yeah, I like the fact that she's such a such a so obsessed with like revenge in a way that it blinds her to what's right in front of her right and exactly she's basically in some ways the cause of all these problems right because she believed that this guy was who he said he was the king in the north or right. whatever and or it's the king of the south i guess technically this time um but then, uh, but then he's not. I, who he says he I, is. I read an interview with uh, the actor after the fact. Um, yeah. And um, I see now. I want to rewatch the season because he says that um, he they they shot the first two episodes and then uh, broke had a break for COVID and rethought mm-hmm. some stuff. And during that time is when they brought him in and said, "Hey, so by the way, you're Sauron." And he's like, "Dude." Uh, but he points out, yeah, but he points out, he's like, we do, uh, we do give clues and we do point out things. And uh, it goes, that definitely influenced the way I play. He's like, you never see, you never see him go off on his own to do anything. He's always interacting with other characters. And he says, yeah. uh, and he's like truthful. And it basically blatantly says, you know, how, you know, I could be evil for all, you know, how do you know, you know, so he, he yeah, said, we definitely yeah. layered it in um, and made sure it is. It wasn't like a, they got to the end of the season and like, all right, let's roll the dice. Who's who's Sauron? But uh, well, no, it's like we were talking about before when, when I was like, I think he's Sauron because he's very obsessed with smithing. Yes, he's very he has a temper, which you don't see until he fights those guys. Right. He's like, let's not do this. But he like fucks the shit out of him. Yeah. Brutally. Yeah. And he doesn't care about. He doesn't care about stealing. He's not a good guy. He's not, and he cuts those people loose on the raft just so he can get to Gladriel. Yes. Um, and he lets her kind of do the talking to like speak for him with with the queen and this whole thing. He's basically been manipulating the situation all along. And I totally. And he says, "I'm not who you think I am." Well, you right, know? and he even says that yeah to, at, in this episode. It's like I told you I was evil, or I could be evil, but you didn't care. You didn't do anything about it because you just wanted to. Yep. You know. You were blinded by your need for revenge or your well, need he, for vengeance or whatever. And he told, just, what's his name, Adair, who after saying that he killed Sauron, he's like, I'm not, I remember what you did to me. Um, mm-hmm. And I think at that point, that guy knows, oh, crap. <laughs> I need to get away because that's the dude. This is not good. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 I'm sure you're right. I'm, I'm, I guarantee you they didn't uh, they didn't just roll the dice on this. It was planned, I, you know, for the entire season. I still but, didn't uh, think it was him until um, he shows up in Cella Brimbor's uh, uh, lab or whatever, and he's like, "Hey, I know a better way you can do this." And I was like, "Holy crap! They're make that's Sauron. That's the dude that." Although in the in yeah. the stories, it was an elf that showed up and said, "Oh, uh, I know how to do this better." But I I like the way. I had a discussion with a friend of mine because they're like, he's like, oh, they're totally changing some of the stuff. And I'm like, yeah, they're doing their own thing. And there's a lot of stuff that they are told f- weirdly that they're not allowed to incorporate into this show. So some of the stuff they have to do on their own. And I'm okay with that. I think it's, uh, I like, you know, Halbrand was uh, completely invented for the show. And yeah, um, I, th- I like the way, you know, it's like he played the long game. He got himself injured. It's like, oh, the only way you can fix this is uh, el- Elven healing. Great. And I'm going to help this guy make rings. Great. So, 
Um, well, the only thing, yeah, the thing I wondered about that is the elves are pretty smart, and w when they're like treating him for his wound, wouldn't they have sensed maybe something? You would I don't think, know, maybe not. Maybe but... just maybe just that good at hiding it. But uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, he was he was definitely playing the long game. I thought that they did a good job of uh, sort of layering that stuff in, yeah. and uh, and and getting him in there. But yeah, yeah, in. In the mythology of Lord of the Rings, it's like Sauron tricked them into making the One Ring, or the you know, so, so he like you know said, "I'm gonna let's all, let's all have all these rings, and then, then I, I'll make a ring to control." The right, psych. yeah. Um, Except for the so, elf ones, because he didn't know about those. So, right. Uh, so it's just like it's just like um, they're they're weaving him into the story more, yeah. Yeah. and that actually is fine because the other thing to think about is a lot of the stuff that happens in Lord of the Rings is just you know it's not like they had video, you know what I mean. So right, it's right. just people people telling a story about a story well, about a story. That's why she's it's like, "Hey, can you bring me these scrolls about the?" And then she's like, like yeah. "Ah," because she wouldn't know offhand. And well, no, obviously, no, like, you know, they didn't. Yeah. You know, Southlanders didn't know. But she's like, "Hey, can you bring me?" And even the elves, say, like, well, we rarely, you know, catalog the. You know, we don't know anything about the humans. Yeah, yeah what the fuck, we don't care. So about then that. he's, you know, but that was like pretty blatant. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> This stopped a thousand years ago. There's no more heirs from that. Oh crap! Yeah. So. Psych. Well, he picked. He picked. He took up the mantle of a dead guy. You know, right. or whatever. He's yeah. not. He, it's his false identity. That's what. That's that's false identity one hundred and one, man. Yeah, come on. I'm a dead guy. Yeah, everybody knows. I, that. I took the identity. Uh, the identity of a of a, a child who died in childbirth or right. whatever. Any and uh, any Highlander will tell you that. But. Well, that's right. Exactly. And, and again, it's not like there's like news or there's, right. there's, there's like video or pictures or, or, you know, anything, any historical records of anything. It's all verbal. Right? Exactly. And then people write shit down, but it's all based on you know, hearsay and, and, and visual, you know, people seeing things or hearing things and rumor and, and whatever. So yes. it's unreliable. The history of Middle Earth is unreliable. Right. So the idea that Sauron wasn't there, who would say he wasn't there? Because exactly. you know, he might have yeah. been. And this is the story they're telling, and it works. It's like, yeah, I know, you know, in part of the Silmarillion or the appendices, it says you know, an elf showed up and was benign. But how do we know that's what really happened? This is what really how happened. We, exactly. Yeah. I, I, exactly. And again, what really happened? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's, like, it's a... It's a yeah, I, I'm folks. I'm loving it. I really liked yeah. uh, this whole season. I'm I actually kind of surprised it's already over. It's like wow, because it was one of those where I'm like, I can't wait till next week. Um, yeah, I'm bummed. And I definitely, I you know, I think they're still being coy about it, but that's definitely Gandalf. Because like you said, he says one of Gandalf's lines, and as I pointed it's out, freaking Gandalf, dude. Yeah, and as I pointed out, it totally explains why he has an affection for. Hobbits, because Hobbits. Know, Harfoots are the ones that help them, and you know Nori especially goes off with them in in the fine tradition okay. of uh, Hobbitses. Uh, Hobbitses. Nori yeah. goes off. It's with only them. it's it has to be one of two people. It's either Saruman or Gandalf. But the fact that he says literally yes. the line that Gandalf says in Lord of the Ring, in Fellowship of the Ring, "Follow your nose," you know, is 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 a pretty good clue. And I still get the know? impression that Saruman, even like when he first showed up, was not quite that nice he was always been kind of a harsh kind of not well you know. Sauron is a, is a is a practical dude yeah he sees the running on the wall i i think mordor is just gonna win so i'm gonna align myself with Mordor. right exactly not i'm not evil and I want, but you know i'm i just yeah i'm gonna go with the flow man because the flow is heading towards you know i you think know? that i like also just to circle back to Sar sauron again real quick i sure. do like because my favorite villains and i think the best villains uh obviously are the ones that think they're doing good and doing the right thing so i like you know whether it was him just trying to sell it to galadriel or whatever but or whether he really believes it it's like no i want to save middle earth and I need your help. Oh, I, I want to do, yeah. you know, you know. I, he wants to save it by by subjugating right, everybody. Right. He's like, we'll we'll get peace by any means necessary. I'm by you know, me being in charge. I'm free from Orgoth. I'm not I'm not evil anymore because yeah. I freed myself from that. I'm repentant, and I just want to save yeah. Middle Earth by, you know, right. destroying the Southlands and subjugating and making everyone do what I want them to do. But <laughs> well, everyone will be safe under my leadership. Right. If if everyone just does what I say, there will be no problems. Yeah, everything will be yeah. there'll be no war. There'll be yeah, no whatever. Yeah. Um, that sounds great. So I, I um, like that. You know, he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good, and it's like, well, no, not really. But um, I just wanted, I just wanted a scene where where Isildur and and Hellbrand just sort of like see each other in the hallway and go, hey, what's up? 
<laughs> but that never happened. We, Maybe it'll happen. We next still don't year. see it, Isildur, but you know he's not he, dead. I think he makes it. I'm not gonna. I, uh, no yeah. spoilers, but I'm pretty sure he's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't see a body, so we didn't see a body. Plus, he. I think he shows up later. But, yeah, I think he has a pretty <laughs> big uh, role to play later. But yeah, unless they can't show that, and they're like, you know what, we're just gonna kill him. So, well, <laughs> I doubt it. Even, I doubt it. Even if they can't show, yeah. you know, what happens, uh, I imagine they can't kill the character either because he does show up in, the, in Lord of the Rings. Right, right. Well, I mean, he shows up in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, and it's it's based on the history of Middle Earth. Yeah. So whether that's fact or, or what, see I mean, again, who, who knows what happens? Reliable yeah. nar- narrators. So. so, but I mean, Elrond was there, right? Right. So, well, true. and he he went to Mount Doom and said, "Throw it in the fire." And I think he'd probably remember that because he's you know he lives forever. Well, yeah. Or essentially, they forever. seem to have pretty good so, memories too. The el- those elves, the elves, yeah. yeah. Well, they they you know, they live a long time, and I think that's the thing that that people also forget is that elves live so long. There's not as much sense of urgency, right? You know, right. it's like eh, whatever. We'll get to it next year or a hundred years from now. It's fine. The only time they had a sense of urgency is like, well, we'll have to leave these shores eventually because the tree is dying. They're pretty hot to uh, uh, leave the beach, but you know. <laughs> they're not even on the beach. Man. I know I they're very, know. they're very quick. You're right though, but they're very quick to be like, well, no, there's nothing to be done. Let's just go. And it's like, well, hold on, Let's dude. Just fuck off to wherever. It's like, hold on, bro. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> it's like, give us a little bit well, of time to try to figure this out, man. Come on. Three weeks, three months. We live thousands of years, but you got three months. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they did it. Why not six months? Why, why not a year? Why not a hundred years? Right. Because really, what's the difference? I mean, twenty years went by without him seeing Durin, and that was no big deal, right? So. No big deal to him. I was a big deal to Jura, I guess. Apparently, but. yes. So. You, you didn't even see my sons. Or, I was I was a little sad that we didn't get any dwarf some dwarf action in this episode. Uh, yeah, but, uh, I guess you can't fit it all. The real gist of it was: here's these two characters that are going to be basically diametrically opposed at polar opposites, good and evil. You have to sort of develop them. Yes. Here's Sauron, everybody. Yep. <laughs> and here's this guy who's probably Gandalf, everybody. Yep. So. And here's Gladriel complicit in, in the rise of Sauron, you silly girl. You were out to destroy him, and look what you did. Well done. You helped him, yeah. and that's got to that's gonna have to weigh on her too, I would imagine. Well, and you Elrond know, knows now too, so because he read the story. Right, and and, and, the, and the bummer is that I don't think she really ever gets that closure that she's looking for. No, no, she doesn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she doesn't. Yeah, if if they're if they're following the story, yeah. like, but uh, eventually. She's like, we're just gonna hang out in the forest. Yeah. She doesn't have that big a role in Lord of the Rings. No. Uh, so, anyway. so, uh, but, so um, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe in the future. So the, this show will go for five years, and people hopefully will enjoy it. And I think that it's gonna hopefully maintain its level of quality, or or even get better. Yeah. And then will they transition into a Lord of the Rings series? I don't know. We'll yeah, it'll just be Lord of the Rings, the ring, the actual rings or something, because this is subtitled, so they could just drop the subtitle. It'll be and... the Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, see, they could do that. And they could do that. I, I would be years. okay with that if it's like, hey, we're going to tell our, you know, there's elements we can't use. See, that's the other thing I don't get. The Tolkien estate is like, we, we want you to do this, but we're going to make you do a five-year commitment to it and... Uh, spend a lot of money on it, but then at the same time, here's a bunch of stuff you can't use. I'm like, what? That seems weird. Well, the the token the token estate likes money. Well, true, but it's just like I'm just saying we're gonna prevent you from using parts of the story that well, are probably pretty integral to what you want to say. But mm-hmm. you know, have fun, good luck. So good luck. But I think I think they've done a great job. I thought this was really uh, really great first season of a show. First of all, and um, I quite enjoyed it, and I'm already. Uh, I think it'll be a couple of years probably before we get season two, but I'm looking forward to it. So, I don't know. If, I don't know if they were smart that they will. Uh, they will probably get it going. They'll start shooting it next year, and maybe no, they're already come shooting out next fall. Right. Yeah. So, oh well, good. Yeah. So it'll come out next fall or something. Um, I was a little bummed to see what happened to to you know Lenny Henry, but uh, I know I like Lenny Henry. It's like oh man, Sadik. It's like, oh. oh, yeah. I wonder why. I wonder why that that happened. I wonder why Gandalf yeah. didn't heal him. But you know, I don't think he can heal people. He's not a healer. Well, he healed I the mean, trees. They... Well, that's because well, he's he's, he's one with Middle yeah, Earth. Yeah, that's but true. He's he's like a he's like a. Yeah. Well, in 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 Hartford language, it's it also means wizard. Yeah, it's like <laughs> come on, just, huh, just say your come name, on, dude. People. Say my name. Yeah. He doesn't even know his name. You know my name. My name is. Gandalf. 
the gray. Well, he's more Gandalf anyway. the barely clothed. And Gandalf, the, time, Gandalf the brown. And Gandalf the sackcloth. He could be Radagast, sackcloth. though. People are theorizing maybe he's Radagast, especially since he has such a close connection to nature and stuff too so that's a that's a good possibility but again he says yes. the same yes. thing that gandalf says <laughs> yes. the exact line except he changes the name because he's not talking to to you know samwise gamgee right, whoever he's right. talking to in the lord of the rings in fellowship i can't remember who it is frodo baggins follow your nose and he says her full name yeah so yes yeah come on yeah. Although, he, you know, it's got to be difficult for that guy to be like, I'm playing the part that Ian McKellen played? Shit. I'm, yeah, it's uh, like, ooh, I'm I gonna... don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. But you know what? I thought he was doing a fine job. I think so, too. So if, I'm sure he's a he's like a stage-trained actor with, uh, you know, I don't know who the character, I don't know the actor's name. I, I hate to say it, but uh, I mean, Daniel Wayman. Let's see. Let's look up Daniel Wayman for yes. a second. Uh, Charlie, oh, Charlie yeah, Vickers stage. plays uh, Sar- Sauron. Yes, lots and lots of lots and lots of theater. Yeah. Shocking. Um, so yeah, he's a he's a classically trained actor, which shows they're all really good. That's the thing I like about this show too, is more accents, and that's also what I like about Andor. Like we talked about, more English actors yes. playing stuff, which we haven't talked about. We haven't talked about Andor either, which was a great heist episode, which we can get to maybe next week. But uh, yeah, we'll um, get to it next week. But yeah, She Hulk. Let's go to Shield sure, for a minute yeah. and talk about and talk about and talk about Meta. Uh, um, uh, I would say that it was a great way to end a show like this, and the idea that uh, they're very self aware about what fans think about the show and what yes. fanboys think about the show, and of course, it's fanboys who hate everything. Yeah. Um, make your own show, people. If you don't like what's on there, make your own fucking show. That's all <laughs> exactly. you got to do. Exactly. Go make. Go. Just make it for yourself. Yeah. If you don't like it, that's fine. You you can not like it, and you're free to not like it. Just go make your own show. Yes. Shoot it in your mom's basement where you never leave. R- oh, wow, sorry. you went there quick. I'm sorry. I did. I don't even have a basement, okay? I'm jealous of people. Who I know. I want a man cave basement, damn it. I like uh, anyway, I have a... I have a man cave. It's my office, I but do I don't too, have a but basement. I, I want like what Kevin Smith had in that in that Die Hard movie. That was pretty amazing. So. Oh, yeah. That was dope. Yeah, I'd love to have that. But yeah. uh, or, or like the kids in in, uh, in Stranger Things. They have their own basement yeah. to play their D&D. Yeah, see? And smoke, and smoke their marijuana. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, no, whoa. No. Hold on now. Not yet. You know that one of the, you know that uh, which which kid wasn't that the story? that was the thing in though was it that seventy show where it was always cloudy in the basement and they never explicitly yeah. said said it but it was like yeah they're smoking dope. So. Well, when they're sitting in that circle yes. and the, yeah. the, the cameras going on, they're they're they're, they're smoking dope. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. obviously what was happening. Yeah, yeah. It's so it, I still think it's weird that that Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis ended up married. I don't know why that's weird to me, but uh, well, people meet on shows and fall in love. It's okay. I know, but she was with Macaulay Culkin for so long. Well, that's I saw, true. Did I tell you? I saw them in Vegas at a at a blackjack table. I told you that story probably. Anyway, did I ever tell you the story that um, Macaulay Culkin's dad tried to get me fired one time? But uh, no, I'll tell you that from what from the movie studio I worked at. That's a long story. Well, that I'll wasn't cool. that later. That is a long story. Yeah. So, all right. Well, She Hulk. Yes, we should go back to that. Sorry, I don't know why we got on a transition. <laughs> well, because that's what we do. I, I, I love She Hulk. I love the show. I love Tatiana Maslany, and I love the fact that uh, that uh, Charlie Cox came back for this episode. Um, I don't think they, the episode still felt slightly awkward to me. I don't know if that's almost, almost like too self-aware maybe. And that goes that a little of that goes a long way to me. I guess I'm not a huge fan of characters breaking the fourth wall yeah, well. necessarily. And also being, it being so meta that she goes to meet Kevin Feige and Kevin Feige is actually <laughs> a robot. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's funny to me, but it's like, I don't need to. I guess I'm watching a show uh, to escape reality, and I don't necessarily need to be reminded that it's a. I don't know. I don't. I'm not a huge fourth wall breaker. Ah, see, I, I love that if it's done right, um, and I think it was done great on this show. And I loved. I love. I, I just love the whole commentary, um, even along the way. The commentary of how, like you said, how f- true fans think of these shows and the comments they make. Um, and this one went in, I mean, it's just like, but you know, we have a formula for how we do suit, you know, they embrace all the criticisms. I love the fact that it's like, oh, I'm going to go see Kevin and it's this AI that runs it all. It's like, that's, yeah, that, yeah. that's pretty great. And, you know, I loved her little asides, like, and when are we going to get the X-Men a little thumbs up to the camera and stuff? That was just, yeah. I, I just thought it was, well, no, it I, was I, a great refreshing way, um, while commenting yeah. on, 
hey, these shows don't have to end all the same way. Um, you also completely don't end it the same way. I don't know. It was, I, I liked it a lot. I liked seeing, uh, I, I'm so, I, I guess I'm surprised um, with Daredevil. And it's like, they not only brought him back, they made him lighter. And they also, it's like, oh yeah, he's been basically living with her for a week at her family's house. It's like, wow, that's yeah. interesting. So, I, I mean, I guess that begs the question. You know, Joe, it, it it is all about family. It is. It is all about family. Did you see the person that did the super cut of the end scene of She-Hulk yeah. uh, by adding in all the Fast and Furious barbecue stuff? Well, by that the way, I think, that's, I think that's Dominic Toretto's house. It, it, it kind of looks house. like it, doesn't it? Yeah. If not, if not, it's, it's basically the same house. But, I, but yeah, that's... Know, I, I, so yeah, it begs the question, that, does uh, Jennifer yeah. Walters show up on the Daredevil show? Because they're an item now, right? Sure. They're, definitely. They're in a relationship. Yeah, she definitely so, shows up on yeah. it. Well, like Kevin, the Kevin bot said, she's like, I'll see, see you in the movie. He's like, no. Yeah, see you on the big screen. <laughs> really? No. 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 <laughs> yeah. Not really. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of breaking the fourth wall, but I like the idea that they just went for it. I mean, she literally climbs out of the menu. Off of the <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, I was, um, which I thought was super, which I thought was super clever. And I'm like, if they're going to go to this level to say F you, uh, toxic fan people, then I'm, I'm fine with that too. Yeah. But they basically, you know, it's like, that's great. And I'm glad that you spent the time to do this. But you could also just, you know, yeah. tell a story too. Sure. I but Whatever. I, I enjoyed it. Whatever. I, that's, not, that's, not what the, that's not what this show is about, I realize. Yeah. I would watch a second season of this. Um, I, oh, definitely. Sure. I, I, I'm kind of interested where they're going with um, <laughs> some of the stuff with Bruce. Because, like, he shows up with his kid, which kind of implies yeah. that, so are we going to get a... World War Hulk uh, series or movie. I, I don't know if they've worked out the stuff with Universal so they can do Hulk movies. Um, oh, sure. They, I'm sure they But it, it's like, that can't be all it takes, the last we've all seen. All it takes is money. Yeah, we can't see the last of that. Oh, and I did like the whole, uh, uh, the whole parody of the... Uh, um, Hulk TV series intro at the beginning of this yeah, episode. Yeah, oh my too. god, that was super. <laughs> that cool, was man. so awesome. And Jennifer Walters, you, you wouldn't you like me the music when I'm angry. When I'm and angry, and then he kind of looks off awkwardly. It was like, not only that, it's like we're also during this intro, we want you to badly act too, like you're in the '70s show. Yeah. So it was great. Right. Well, I, I mean, it's was that disrespectful to the late Bill Bixby? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> well, I don't I'm know. Just kidding. And they, and they, I guess they couldn't get, they couldn't use the footage from, uh, from with Lou Ferrigno. They had to put somebody else in there, obviously. But, but uh, yeah, that was de- that was great. I love, I mean, I love that show when I was. A kid, oh, me too. So and I, I thought it was the idea that she's changing the tire in the rain the first time that she hulks out and pushes the car down the yeah. thing. It was so. And funny. Even the yeah. She-Hulk version in that was looked like it was, you know, Lou Ferrigno, not Lou Ferrigno exactly, but in in drag, somebody painted up. You know, it was great. <laughs> so no, it was cool. That kind of thing I thought was funny. I, I don't know, I, and that's the kind of show this was, and yeah. I, 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 I went with it, and I went along just fine. Um, but then, you know, it's like you have all of this, and then there's no real stakes for anybody because nothing's really going to happen. Well, to her that's what, it, what it was about. So, yeah. no, it wasn't. You're right. You're wasn't about that. So, I still loved it. I think I would watch it again. Yeah. I mean, I would watch another season for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm I am curious about what what having Scar there means for the yeah. show because obviously he went to he went to Sakar for a reason. So I'm wondering if if he had to go pick up your pick up his boy, you right, know, like right. this kid's causing too much trouble because I don't know if people are familiar with the World War Hulk uh, storyline, but Scar fucks up a lot of shit. Yes, it's like hey, you need to come <laughs> get Sakaar. your kid. Uh, yeah, come get your son. Yeah. Uh, but he, so he's got his tattoos, he's got his hair, yeah. what, a weird haircut and everything. Um, so, and he looked, the thing, he never, obviously he never speaks in the episode, but he kind of looks guilty, like in a way, like almost like, oh, dude, yeah, you know, like, like, like Hulk should be holding him by the ear or something. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Explain what the fuck yeah, is happening. You, do you want to um, explain to the nice people what you did? Yeah. But I guess the question is, why does he have to explain anything? But I, I'm sure it's there to provide exposition for, for either a Hulk, Werewolf Hulk show or, or a movie. I don't, I just can't. I don't know. I can't imagine them doing another Hulk film. Maybe they will. Maybe they will do a World War Hulk film. I think it would be great if they um, did it as a series. But I, yeah, that, that's probably more likely. Yeah. Um, but I did enjoy that. I did enjoy the joke. It's like she's like, 
uh, can you transform away? Can you transform out of the Hulk thing? It's too expensive. Yeah. And you can do it off camera. Yeah, please. Because the visual effects people have already moved on to their next project. They've already moved. Yeah. They've already moved on. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. There are, there, there were some, there were some, some good jokes. Um, but uh, uh, Kevin Feige must have a, a sense of humor. Appa- guess, apparently, guess. according to the sh- the showrunner, um, Feige and the Marvel executives encouraged them to go even more over the top than they originally intended. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, you know, that's great that they're like, yeah, we totally can make fun of ourselves. We don't care. Uh, and they even put the well, baseball I, it's, hat it's, on it's, Kevin at the end. That was great. Yeah. It's not just making fun of themselves. It's also like you guys hate all this stuff. So we're going to amp that right. up and, and address it directly. So yeah. it's, I mean, that kind of thing I think can also has the potential to backfire a little bit because if you're basically saying, you know, F you, F you to part of your fan base, will it matter? I don't know if it'll matter or not. I'm sure the movies yeah, and the TV shows will still matter, be very, but, very popular, yeah. but I mean, but it has the potential of, of backfiring, I suppose, but they have to, the idea that they're addressing this, the criticisms and everything of the of not just this show but of the MCU in general, it, it, I thought was pretty funny. Yeah. So, um, it, it's good. And there was a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of good bits. It's all make believe, kids. It's okay. Mm-hmm. You don't have to like it. Move on. But yeah, no, I, I, I really, I'm sure there are many YouTube videos happening this weekend, saying how awful that was and how it's evidence that. The MCU, I keep seeing, yeah, the MCU is on a downtrend. They're on their way out now. And I'm like, but their movies keep making a billion dollars, but okay. Um, And the shows keep getting made, but all right. Um, So I'm sure there's many furious uh, YouTube videos being made this weekend, probably the day after the show about, yep, see, MCU is done. They're terrible. Kevin Feige's fired. Yeah. Um, yeah, I also felt like they they were missing a couple of characters at the end. In the, in the they should have had uh, they should have Wong and Madison too. Should have been at the well, table probably. That's yeah, that's true. If it's all about family, then uh, it's all I about family. Disapp- Where's Wong? Everyone loves everyone loves Wong. I'm just saying. <laughs> I did I did like when Wong uh, spoilers when Wong breaks uh, 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 Blonsky at a, and I love the fact that Blonsky had all his stuff packed and ready to go. He was just waiting. Well, yeah, um, but. Um, well, it's not the first time that he's broken him out of film. He's like, right? "Sorry, I'm late." And he's like, "I, I get it. You were dragged to another show." Um, yeah. But I was kind of disappointed that you know Madison wasn't also the hey, you know, to meet him. But whatever. We need a Wong, Madison, and uh, a Blonsky show now. Well, Madison is is actually uh, Memphis. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the that's the rumor. Um, so I would imagine that, 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 that Kevin Feige wanted a scar in there for a reason because I feel like that's a plot point that's that's going to launch something oh, else. Of course, yeah. but but they also smartly seal up this whole idea that any of the Marvel characters can confront Kevin in the future because he he clearly says the glitch has been fixed. Yes. You'll never be able to address the Kevin again. Yes. Um, so this is a this is like a one off. If there's another season of She Hulk, it's going to be you know uh, more. They're not going to do this kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. They'll just do some fourth wall breaking and, and whatever. But uh, I, I assume there will be another season because why not? Right? Yeah, so. I would. I think it did re, it did well and uh, I would yeah. certainly watch more. So, yeah. And, and I'm sure she'll show up at the Daredevil show yeah. and maybe, maybe Bruce will too or, or Scar. But yeah, I would totally watch a World War Hulk. Uh, I mean, they kind of did part of that in, in Ragnarok. They but, did uh, kind of, but, but not, not to that extent. Yeah. yeah. No. And then maybe it'll maybe it'll transition to like an old man Logan deal, <laughs> where it's like a whole the Earth is overpopulated well, by Hulks now. Uh, and, you know. Secret Wars is one of the uh, Avengers yeah, movies coming up, so anything's possible at this there point. You go. So anything is possible, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, all all in all, I think a good season, um, a good show, very enjoyable. Brings a power, a great show. Andor was was terrific. We, I don't know if we're going to talk about that right now, but uh, we could talk about that next yeah, week or whatever when it's week. or when it's done. But a beautiful episode of television. I, just, I thought it was a great, yeah, yeah, well done, well done episode. Um, and uh, you know, for those of you who don't like the show, I, I'm not, I'm not sure I understand why, but uh, <laughs> I can't understand you or how you work, but Hey, whatever. Well, yeah. I mean, there's things I don't like, like we were talking about, you know, we don't like, we didn't get into Yellowstone. We didn't yes. get into some other yes. things. We just stopped watching or walking dead. You didn't like, you know, I give things a chance. Yeah. And if I don't like them, I, I stop watching. Them. Right. There's plenty of more people... other things to watch. It's okay. 
Yeah, exactly. And I, I like with with uh, House of the Dragon, you stopped you stopped watching that, but yet I kept watching it because I love fantasy and anything with dragons. I can I can overlook the the weird incestual rapey shit, and you know, because that's not they're not real people, well, so yeah. it's fine. Uh, but but I, I do enjoy but the there, dragons. There's a lot of, of Star Trek shows. There's a lot of Star Wars shows. There's a lot of Marvel shows. There's yeah. a lot of fantasy shows. So you don't have to yeah. love. All of it, and that's totally you know. fine. There's not gonna, there's no fan card that's gonna get revoked because you don't like discovery. Like, yeah. Just you don't have yeah. to try to convince the world not to like it. Just move on, watch something else. I mean, geez. Although I think we can all agree that the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie sucked. So. Yeah, well, yeah, that it, well, that's the exception right there. That's terrible. Nobody should ever watch that. that was, you are a horrible person if you like it. So. You're a horrible person if you like it. Yeah. You're a total idiot <laughs> yes. if you yes, like that movie. Exactly. Why are you so stupid? Yes. That's what yeah, I want to say. Ben Affleck should have been canceled after that. So, Ben Affleck, fuck that guy. <laughs> no. He shouldn't have been Batman either. No. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's talk about how much we dislike the Snyder cut of, of Justice League. Wait, no, we shouldn't do that. No, no. Because that, it's, it's coming perf- back, baby. I, uh, I think it's perfectly fine to have the he who will not be named cut <laughs> anymore. And the canceled Joss Whedon cut or whatever version of that movie. And that's yeah. fine. And the Snyder version, you can have both. It's like double the justice league. It's, it's, it's fun. Yes. And I've watched them both. Enjoy. And they're both actually fairly different movies. And I yeah. enjoy them both for different reasons. So there you go. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I like both. Yes. I, I thought that the justice league, uh, was okay. It was fine. Yeah. And you know, and then, then the Snyder thing was fine. Yeah. And, Whatever, and we do live in a society, so there you go. It's all good. And and Cavill isn't done with Superman apparently, and that's fine too. I'm I, really excited by that. Cavill should be Superman again, man. I, I, he's gonna be apparently. Yeah. So. Did you see this thing that people are like, "What is the what is the male equivalent of of like Phoebe Cates or whatever in a movie? Like the amazingly beautiful person that shows up." And some many people had picked Henry Cavill in Mission Impossible, where oh. he cocks those guns. <laughs> yes, baby. he does. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that was, fucking Cavill. Yeah. He, he's pretty awesome. He's uh, he is, and there's another Enola Holmes movie. I'm very excited about um, that. Too. Yes, and he's playing Sherlock in that one again. So yeah, um, you know, he must. It's like the M- Millie Bobby Brown is basically running Netflix now. She point. is. Yeah. And she's like, no, I, want, save I want Henry Cavill in my movie. And they're like, Done. She's got two franchises going, you know. It's like, well, you know, Stranger Things is winding down, and now we need to... Get this other one going. we need to yeah. get this new thing. And she's great, and, and I love the first one. I thought it was terrific. Um, yes. And I, I'm looking forward to this one, too. I think it'll be... All the all the people are back. So. Except for uh, the one Holmes well, brother, yeah. but, you know. Yeah. Maybe there'll be a Moriarty in this one. Right? Maybe, maybe. But, yeah. Just like Moriarty in the new Picard show, in the final season yes, of Picard. Yes, that, that was a show. surprise. So, so do you think they've uh, revealed all their surprises at this point, or is there more to come? Yeah, that's all That's all there is. Yeah, okay. that's yeah, that's what I figured. We know that we Kirk, just know actually, that we don't even need to watch it now. We just know what's going to happen. So, Actually, Kirk shows up, I think. Oh, I see. Yeah. From, oh my. from the death of oh. space. Uh, from the death. Of, yeah, well, he's not really dead. They never saw a body. Oh, wait, they did. <laughs> I was commenting on Shatner now saying his trip to space. All he saw was death. Oh, right. Space was terrible. Yeah, yeah. All he saw was death. I'm like, what? That is uh, different than what you said when you came back, but okay, whatever. Uh, whatever, yeah. Well, you know what? He's, he's 90s. That, he's in his 90s. Wait. I got to think that if you're, if, you, if you're someone like William Shatner and like all these people that you were friends with from this iconic show um, – have passed away for the most part. Yeah. Most of them are gone yeah. now. Um, you're kind of like, I don't know. I mean, Takei is pretty old and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, Walter Canning is, I mean, yeah. those are the only ones left, right? Yeah. Now. I mean, after Michelle Nichols, yeah. it's like, you know, he's probably confronting his own mortality at this point because, well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I don't want to end the show on a bummer, but it's like, you know, he's only got a few I, years I really left, him. really. I mean, you know. all, uh, that's probably all he does see is death. Yeah. You know? yeah it's yeah, kind yeah. of a shitty thing, but uh, anyway. He still looks um, like he's be, in like in his 70s. The guy looks, he does. Well, he looks, he good. looks like, you know, yeah. he, he, he takes, you know, he takes care of himself. I mean, that hair piece is amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I should say. Well, will we ever get, do you think we'll ever get no. the truth on that? Nope. Never. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Never. He will be buried with that. He's guy. got it in his will that uh, it can never be revealed. Exactly. Anymore. I wonder if what I wonder. You know, I I don't want to be morbid, but I think I wonder if he gets shot into space when he's gone. Think, I would think uh, so. I would. Yeah. I mean, it's Captain Kirk. Of course, he should, he should, be. He should, he should be. be in space. Absolutely. 
I think, wow, this is Turkish. Wow, yeah. Anyway, Ooh, uh, let's talk about death some more. Anybody, any other death you want to talk about? Well, you know, we haven't gotten to the picks yet. Superman? So, no. Oh, you're going to, well, I, I'm going to pick death. Yeah, yeah, I picked death as my pick. No, I'm just kidding. Me, me too. Uh, We're all going to die soon. <laughs> what a bummer. Wow, man. What happened? I, I just hope. I just hope I live long enough to see the new Dune movie. That's Jeez. all I'm saying. Jeez. I, want, I just want to see Picard <laughs> season three. But eh. Exactly right. I just want to see some shows I'm looking forward to. <laughs> I want to watch that Benny A. Gesserit show. Yes. Uh, yes. Or whatever. Yeah, I want to see season two of She-Hulk. <laughs> I want to see. I want to make it through Marvel Phase 7. <laughs> yes. I want to see whatever. Uh, Avengers I how give many, us your money. Uh, I wonder how many. Yeah. At gunpoint. I wonder how many uh, phases will there be? I mean, at some point, Feige's going to be like, okay, man, I'm done. I don't know how many more phases I have in me. Yeah, I don't, what, I don't know. When, when, will he, when will he step down and what... what well, that's the thing because they, he, everyone just thinks, oh, yeah, he's just been in charge of this since Iron Man. And that's not true. Ever since Marvel movies have been made, he's been a part of that. So Yeah, even at Fox and whatever. Yeah, he's been so in there for back, a while. Back so. in like the Blade days, he was involved in those movies. So it's like, wow, he's been it's doing been, this for yeah. a long time. 20 plus not years, not necessarily yeah. to this extent, but still, you're right. I mean, it's like even even if you just count from Iron Man, that's what came out in 2008. So that's quite a few years. You know, it's 14 years at this point, 15 years. So well, right for the MCU, but I mean, he was on. He did the first X Men movie, right? That's, Fox, what I'm, that's how yeah, he knows. So, that's how he knows Jack Man. Back so. into the 90s with Blade. So yeah. you know yeah. how you're right. Maybe he's just like, yeah. I, don't, I mean, he is apparently directing a Star Wars movie. So. He's getting to branch uh, out and do some stuff. We all are. We all are. Yeah. Everyone's, getting, everyone, everyone's getting a Star Wars. I'm a, I was, yeah. I, I know people have been saying I was going to direct a trilogy. It's actually going to be four movies uh, and a series. Yes. I'm and, going the opposite of, uh, it's actually going to be six movies and then one one and, one and season of a show. I'm doing the opposite of yeah. Community. So. Sure. Well, that's what they did with Andor. They made a movie and then they did a TV yeah. show. So there yeah. Go. Movie and a show. I'm doing a pre- I'm doing a prequel series to my own series. So yeah, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, you know a character in a movie, and then each season of the show is gonna go a year backwards in time. So right, till he's till he's a zygote. Yes, yeah, and then yeah. and then we'll do prequel series on his grandparents. So right, and the, the finale of the season of the series is his parents. Having <laughs> yeah, kids. that's it's like thir- and that is how the show that is how the show forty five minutes of that. Yep. Yeah, just just fucking for forty. <laughs> totally graphic and totally. And then creation. Yes. And then that's and then the that's, Big Bang. That's, he springs. And... He springs forth. Yeah. Literally, he springs forth, <laughs> and uh, and all is well. And we show a so, show right, a lot well... of birth and all that. So. <laughs> and then that's it. It goes, it goes to white, uh, and that's the end. Ah, that's brilliant. How come we don't have a show? I don't know. People need to let us write this stuff. I mean, Jesus. Oh, we do have a show. It's called. Oh, the yes. We're doing it right now. Oh, yeah. That's that's so meta. Um, yes. At this point, and that's at this point, uh, Kevin Robot, we should be doing picks, right? Yeah, right, C H okay. R I S. We will. Uh... That's me. I don't. I, I can't even begin to understand what that would be. Uh, I have to think of my own acronym for next I'm, week. I'm, I'm not that smart. One. I can't think of that. I can't come up with one at the at, at the spur of the well, moment. There's your homework for next week. So, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, do you have a pick I, this week, Mister? I do have a pick. Um, okay, will you tell us what it is? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Okay. That's you, you have That's to fair. guess. No, uh, I'm going to pick a movie. Is there another Merillion album I'm not aware of? Well, uh, it's always Merillion every week is my pick. So. <laughs> okay, uh, 100% of the time. And okay. you're not aware of any other albums, so there's always a Merillion album. You're not I'm not aware of, of it. Yeah, there could be there could be 20 new ones. Well, exactly. I know. So it's no. This week it's not Merillion, although they're okay. the best band Fair on enough. the planet. You should go listen to them right now. Go check them out at Merillion.com. Sure. Sure. Anyway, um, and sure. I don't get paid for that. Um. No. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, pick. Yeah, I'm going to pick a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pick okay. a, uh, a end of a trilogy movie. Um, and uh, that being Clerks 3. Ah, Clerks 3. I just recently, recently watched it. And I'll be honest, I was, I was just kind of like, well, of course, I've watched the other two. And I like some of what Kevin Smith does. But he's at his best when he does these characters, I feel. And I'm like, ah, of course, I'm going to watch that. And uh, it was actually surprisingly, um, maybe because I've grown up in the same kind of way, not in the same kind of way, I've grown up like Kevin Smith has, and his Clerks movies have always been kind of uh, semi-autobiographical. 
this was a surprisingly emotional movie. Um, I, I got choked up in certain scenes, especially towards the end. Um, and it was a great way to uh, end the Clerks trilogy. And um, maybe it's the last time we've seen of most we see of most of these characters. And um, I thought it was I thought it was a really great movie. I mean. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, oh, it's just Kevin Smith's usual bullshit. And yeah, it is. But uh, I like the story. I like what he does with the characters. And I always kind of like, uh, not to the extent of She-Hulk, but I always kind of like his commentaries that he makes on not just sequels, but continuing with characters and things like that in his movies in a subtle way. Um, but it's, it's one of those movies where it's... Um, not even just uh, Jay and Sil Silent Bob, but it feels like catching up with old friends that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, and it was a re really just, good movie. I, I just have one question. Is Rosario Dawson in she the is. film? Then I will yeah. watch it. So, so in a go. surprising way, but she, yes, she's in it. I do enjoy uh, Rosario Dawson. She's a fine actress, but also, you know, easy on the eyes. And yes, there is a Ben Affleck right. cameo in the movie, so. What? I'm shocked. <laughs> That's crazy, and Amy Sedaris apparently too. Shows yes, up. yes. No, it's a, it's a. Um, what about Jason Lee? Jason Lee in the in the movie? I can't reveal everything, man. Come on. All right, fair you enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. won't watch the movie if I'm I tell you. I, I can just tell you the movie right uh, now. But I got a screener. I, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I'm also. It's also on the pile of things with Halloween ends, which I haven't watched either. But uh, apparently, that's does terrible. It, does it really? Because <laughs> I don't fucking know. Man. How many? I, I like the. I like the last one. I thought it was pretty good, but apparently people are saying this is a terrible send off for Jamie Lee Curtis's character. I'm like, well, they should have just fucking ended it at some point. And this is, I guess this is the point they're ending it. So there you go. Cause they've rebooted it before with her and her character. And now they, and they rebooted it again. And in between those reboots, there was a Rob zombie reboot. And it's yes. like, okay, but it doesn't compare to Jason in space. That's all I can tell you. Well, what, what nothing, does nothing really, compares I to mean, I think I would watch a movie with Jason and Jaws from, from the spiral Love me in space. There you go. Richard Keel. Is Richard Keel still no, alive? I don't think he is. not, sadly. Okay. I love that okay. character in the James Bond movies. I thought I thought it was great that he got a girlfriend. Yes. That was, yeah. that was, that was I, I like that he got he gets yeah. a nice ending. That was pretty great. He does. Yeah. That wasn't inspired Love Me, though, because he got a girlfriend in the one before that, and then he went to space. Yeah, well, that's true. Or was yeah. it? Moonraker. No, no, Spy Love Me was the, was the under one. Moonraker was the yeah. space one. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Moonraker yes, is the space so one. He, yeah. That's right. He was in Spy Love Me, and then he ended up in Moonraker also. Yes. yes. Okay. Which I thought was kind of funny. It's like James Bond in space. Really? Cool. <laughs> so anybody who says Tom Cruise went to space first, it's not true. <laughs> James Bond. Well, and you, you did hear, of course, he's going to do a spacewalk. Uh, I did. No, I, I heard it. I, I, I'm like, course, oh, of course, course he's he something insanely stupid. Of course he's going to do it. Um, Why wouldn't he? I mean, you're Tom Cruise. What else is there? At yeah, this point? and it, it's like, you know, if he, you know, if something goes horribly wrong and he ends up ascending to Zemu, who cares, right? That's his ultimate well, goal. Exactly. Anyway, he's already, so. he's got, he's, he's got that goal. He's already him, so, yeah, he's totally already, clear. He's so already, he's fine. Totally clear. Yeah. yeah. I, I know way more about Scientology. Than I, I know. I know. Clear. Oh, crap. We already, we said the word. Oh, now we're going to get, we're gonna get oh. sued. Damn it. No, no. Now they're going to be like sending me literature in the mail. <laughs> They're going to send guys God showing damn. up going, uh, you're saying false things about us. Uh, we're going no. to beat you up. Scientology, it's amazing. It's a real religion, everybody. Totally. Totally, totally legit. It's all good. 100% legit. Uh, I said legit. I meant legit. legit. Do you have a pick, by the uh, way? <laughs> I do. Okay. You know, it's, I'm going to pick something that I already picked before. Okay. Because I just watched the whole thing again, and I fucking still love the show. Okay. I'm picking The Bear again. Okay. Because I still love that show. If uh, the reason I started watching it, it again because Ibn Moss Bacharach's character on the bear, he the actor was in Andor, and I'm like, I miss the bear. I want to go watch that again now because <laughs> he's so he's so good in in Andor. I mean, I don't want to spoil that episode that just happened, but there's a, there's some interesting twists there. Um, but I had to go back and watch the bear again. I basically binge the whole thing again in 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 the space of like a couple of hours. It's not that many, it's only eight episodes, and they're each like about a half oh, hour. Okay. But everyone is f terrific on the show. Jeremy Allen White, uh, Ed Barry, uh, everyone, all the characters, Abby Elliott, everybody is just spot on terrific. The show is excellent. If you've ever worked in a kitchen, it'll probably give you PTSD flashbacks. Uh, sorry if I bring that up, but uh, I should notify people. But it's 
it, it's just so. I worked in the kitchen a long time ago, but not like oh, this. Okay. But it's just, it's such a great show. And there's even more things that you get out of it if you've watched it more than once. I've, I think I've binged it three times now. I just, I just think it's terrific, and I'm so happy to see that it's going to get another season. Um, it, it's an amazing show. It just, it's, it's definitely worth watching if you haven't watched it, and, and if you have any interest in food or any interest in, you know, amazing characters and uh, and and great performances and just. Yeah, it's you another know, one it's I need show. to watch, and I do intend to it watch is, that and one. It, and it, it's got, if it matters, it's got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, if anybody cares about I that. I so, don't care about that, but okay. The show, it goes by really fast because it's a sort of fast-paced kind of show because it's people trying to make a, you know, do a restaurant. Um, but some of the stuff is, is super funny, like uh, Richie, uh, cousin, they basically, you know, they call each other cousin all the time, which is funny, but they're not really related. <laughs> um, they go... Just a quick, quick aside. So they they go to uh, do a kids party uh, for Oliver Platt's character, uh, who was also a, a, a relation of some kind to the family. And Richie, uh, Eva Moss Becker's character, accidentally drops his bottle of Xanax in the ecto cooler they made for the kids, so all the kids go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of funny. There's just like. There's so many, there's so many things, so many memes you see, like all these Arby's cups are from different, set, different times or something. And it's just all this stuff that happens. He's so, or what's up replicants. He just, he just, does, there's so many, I did like, not know Oliver things. Platt was in this. So that's, Oliver Platt is, yeah, he's like, he's sort of, now. he's like kind of like the, uh, another relative. He was like best friends with their father. So he's like, like an uncle, but he's also like a, a guy who loans money too. He's like a loan shark kind of, um, but uh, yeah, everyone in the show is great. Even like the, I don't want to say minor characters, but like the supporting cast, even the guys who play the dishwashers are funny. The guy who plays, the guy who sweeps up the restaurant is great. The guy who's like, you know, it's just every character is so real. Nice. And so and so relatable and so has such good little bits of business to do that it's just it's just a high quality show. It's There is a reason that people are, 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 are really loving it and saying it's a great show and, and then it's, it's getting such great reviews and because it's it's just that good. So anyway, that's my pick again. The Bear. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. Okay. So there you go. Sounds good. Damn it. Damn it. It's a, it's easy, man. It's, eight, it's like four hours of your oh, time okay. of your life. Okay. Jeez. Now, now I'm not saying you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, you, you are saying me. But other Come people on. too. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm not saying that to you personally. All right. But you should. Do you like John Barenthal? He's in it. Is he really? Oh, okay. Well, he plays uh, the main character's brother, who you find out in the first episode blew his brains out. Well, geez, so, that's a downer. I don't want to watch that. Well, that's why that's why uh, J- Jeremy Allen White's character Carmen or Carmi or the Bear, as they call him, um, is uh, inherits the restaurant uh... because he has to try to make a. He's like this huge. He was like this really famous chef. He's like you know this huge star that was that was blown up and then you know the pressure got to him and he came back well, he to, gets to, blown to up too restaurant. see this is too violent i don't think i want to watch well it. there's a lot of yeah it's chicago oh, man. It's like I get mobsters you. and okay. shit people get people, shit gets blown up yeah it blows up okay. man right. so anyway <laughs> i don't know it's a great show all you should right. watch it uh anyway find the flick cast at uh, spotify and apple Podcasts and all the places you find podcasts good pods is another place that people oh, are yes. talking about we're on yeah. there of course um Joe and I are on the socials, what Joe writes. I am Chris Yu or Ulrich Picks at Instagram. Um, and we're at Linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash the Fleetcast. That's a mouthful. Yeah. And, uh, you know, rate and review the show if you feel so inclined. Uh, five star reviews are always nice. Yes, please. Um, but if, you only, if you're only feeling four stars, I totally get that. Or 4.9 stars. That's good too. 4.9. Yeah. I don't know if that's an option, but <laughs> if it is, you can, you can feel free to pick that. Um, but yeah. And, uh, that's it, I think. I don't know. I feel like there's more, but that's I, we've talked about a lot. I think so we I revealed everything in our episode that we were going to reveal. Is there any other twists that we have to? I don't reveal? think there's a final uh, twist. Uh, 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 not not in this episode. No. But, uh, but it's been it's been Agatha all along. No, it's been Joe all. I don't along. think. I mean, we. I, I think we're always breaking the fourth wall. So there's nothing there. Uh, there is no wall. There's no walls between there us is except no walls. time and space. Yes. Although time is not really, and follow I guess your nose. Probably That's like the a, only other thing I'll say. A millisecond delay between us talking, but there's no, no but, but there's definitely space between us because we're thousands of miles apart. There's but. space between my ears. <laughs> uh, well, there right, is. We should. Go. I mean, there's some. Right? Yeah, we should go. Yeah. Okay. It's get. It's getting <laughs> weird. Let's end on a high note. <laughs>
<laughs> Hand on an upswing. Uh, for Joe Dilworth, I'm Chris Allwork. That was the Flickcast. Thanks so much for listening.